Hey everybody, I have been telling you guys for a while that we're going to build a bicycle with a motor on it, a four cycle. On here, we have two engines. Daniel picked that engine up here last year. Kira got this one here, I don't know, six or seven months ago. And their intent was to do the bicycle. So down below the video, you will see an AliExpress link and that's how they're doing it. They have an AliExpress link because that's legal for them to do. And uh, I think it's like one and a half percent. So a like hundred bucks, somebody buys a hundred dollars, they get a dollar fifty. That's not a lot, but it does add up and they can do this. So pay attention. We're going to go to what they figured out by looking over the frame and what they found. And I want you to pay a lot of attention to what they're going to show you because a lot of people want to use the Harbor Freight motor, but hardly anybody knows about this little engine. Um, over here on this little motor here, let her explain it. This is my engine that I picked for this bike, and the reasoning for it is because it's nice and tall, it's small, it would fit perfectly, and the shaft right here would go, would fit all the way back and down my, it's just, it's just really perfect for this bike. And then Daniel ran across a few problems. Yes, uh, we did run into some problems. Hers is straight up and down, it goes straight back. Mine, the cylinder is at a 45 degree angle, and it, as you can see, look at the size difference. It's too big. More on that later in the video. So what they've done is they, they drew them something out here on the board, and I'm going to have them explain to you exactly what it is. And the video is what it is, guys, because of what they figured out. That's what you're going to get to see. Okay, so the green here represents my motor. As you see, it gets messed up in the pedals, so you'd have to take the pedals out. No pedals it would mess with this bar so and it has to be that way because if you move it up that way it's all messed up that's why my motor won't work this is my motor this is why my motor would work you see we got to cut out a little bit of, a, of the pipe tubing here but uh, we would put the motor right here and it wouldn't mess with anything and um, this is the um, uh, body that we're going to put on it you know the shell like thing and the motor would be in the middle right here so as you see what she's done, she figured out this gal right here, figured out, girls can do this guys, that by building an intermediate frame out of a piece of flat metal that you would bend or something, they're still trying to figure out what to use, she could make it to where her gas tank is sitting right here, but it's still attached to her motor right here. And that gives this thing all open space and then the shafts on the other side and these engines, their rotation, it would go right straight back onto that gear um, and work perfect. I mean, perfect. So his, his is actually probably about nine pounds heavier than hers. And even though they're both three horsepower, his, which we really wanted to use, we can't. Her design over here is the engine forward design. That's kind of what you'd call it. So instead of the engine here, down low, it's very it's a light engine. So you don't gotta worry about being top heavy. I mean, your big butt's gonna be on the bike, right? So, or mine, or one of theirs, even if one of theirs is not up top heavy. So her engine there, with its gas tank sticking through, and a cut, and then the frame with a web going around, boxed in, with the gas tank in the middle, it's just small enough at about nine inches by seven inches to fit perfectly perfectly and a 13 year old girl figured that out fat girl right there and this guy's mad look at that face because his engine was supposed to go out here first so let's get this bike pulled open right quick get their engines out of the way these are two kids with two engines now daniel's daniel's probably you've probably seen in another video that I turn this over to him, let him real quick decide, tell you what's going to be, because there's going to be a real quick video coming up building this. Yeah, so we are going to do a video series, I guess that's what you would call it, on these two, the engine and this PMA. I have a previous video, which I got more in depth with it. Let's get back to the bicycle over here. All right, so they're going to open up the bicycle and remove the parts out of it, take it out of, the, out of here. So we have a bag, 
hardware and stuff in there, I guess. And this is a Kent. It's like $120 at Walmart. It's one of the best ones I figured out. Man, I spent a lot of time in different places, Target, Walmart, um, Kmart, you name it, looking at bikes and doing measurements. They made templates, the two kids here, they made templates out of cardboard. And we traveled all over for days. And this bicycle showed up just being assembled in a Walmart. It was had just been assembled. And I'm gonna let them go ahead and get this completely opened up and then they're gonna lay the frame out and you're gonna see why this conclusion is the best conclusion for a gas powered bicycle and how it's going to work. Now, this special 48, 48 gear, there's a 48 and a 52. Depends on the speed you want. The 48 should get you about 30 miles an hour. The 52 should get you about 27, but a lot more hill climbing abilities. If you're heavy, I weigh 200 and something pounds. We're not going to go there. Um, this one here, she weighs about 90, he weighs about 110. So for these two guys to do what they're going to do, I will not be surprised if this thing hit 35, just within the limits of the brake system that's on this thing, about 35 miles per hour. So we want to keep it under that and I might have to govern the engine. Another thing is they also have a thumb drive like a ATV has for their uh, accelerator instead of the throttle. Throttles suck, they screw up constantly, and in some cases they'll hang up. The thumb will not. And we'll put all the parts. Everything you see here, including a link to their new channel, Nim and Rod, Nim and Rod, that channel will be coming up and it'll have a lot of the builds that they do with my assistance and teaching so that you, I want you to refer it to your children, to your friends' children, to show them quit playing video games, build something. Okay, now I'm going to pause, they're going to get it open, and we'll go from there. All right, now, using our cool little uh, wrenches there, we got it put together. Here is the bicycle. This is the Kent Base Side. It's $120-something. I'll put the link below. You can order it, free shipping. It's awesome. Steel frame. You can weld on it. Fully engaged. One gear up front, which is very handy, and seven in the back. Doesn't have all the crazy stuff. Comes with this cool little cup holder and really simple, super comfortable. Look at these handlebars, aren't they sweet? Nice big seat for, well, people who don't want one up their butt. Now, the kids are going to show you exactly why they've come to this conclusion. So Daniel's motor, I want you to look very carefully at these motors. Daniel's motor, he's going to explain this one. Okay, so as I said earlier, the cylinder is at a 45 degree angle. And when you go up here, you don't have to take the pedals out, you don't have to cut the center bar, which you never want to cut this bar. It just won't be able to be a real bike. Okay, so no pedals, you couldn't pedal it, you couldn't do anything else. And the reason that we're going with this other motor, Kira's gonna explain this one. The reason why we're going with this motor it's because it's easy to fit, and um, uh, you have to cut the uh, you have to cut the bar right right in here, you know, on the top. But uh, you'd be able to bolt it down in here very easily, and you won't run into it. No complications or anything. So, like she's showing here, you can just imagine this engine here. And look, this is light, and I think it's about what 20 pounds on. So, mm -hmm. it would mount like this. It doesn't interfere with your pedals. It is completely free. Even with your foot being on the pedal, you still have three, almost four solid inches before you hit the bottom of the motor, and that's in the sweep action. So you're totally clear. At worst case scenario, you might put a spacer rod, then they sell them for pedals, out about an inch. Other than that, you ain't got no worries because the engine mounts here, right here, and the bar will be cut a plate will be put in, nice and rounded and custom. We'll go down and hit here, we'll be bent, and hit back here, and we'll come back up and weld, and then we will put a frame piece going around the top of the gas tank, and as you, you can see, it'll go down here, it'll go down here, wrap around up here in the front, and encompass the gas tank. So the gas tank's only gonna stick up about right here, right there. It's only that wide, you can see that. That's not going to hit your knees. The muffler will be repiped if necessary. 
So this is the engine that's going on the bicycle. It's going to work beautifully. So I'm gonna let her hold that up there real good. You two get over there and hold that up in its position. And I'm gonna get down here low, right there. And you'll see, go back a little bit, Kira. Now down a little bit, right there. There's your mount. And you can see the bolts up here in the front. We'll be able to hook onto that bar right where the cuts are made and where it goes up. That engine will fit, no questions. Three horsepower, 30 mile an hour plus, damn nice setup. All right, guys, that's my Nim and Rod. One hell of a team. Y'all be good, and y'all go out and check these out. I got mad at the first set I got, but that guy fixed it so quick, I like him. All right, tool guards. Really cool, like Gear Ranch, 30% cheaper. Yeah, I ain't been able to break one yet. Working on my big truck. So there you go. All right, man. Y'all stay tuned. More's coming. Next project has got something to do with these coolers. Real nice. It's going to be what? It's going to be awesome. Awesome. <laughs>